Once you begin the test, don't stop till you complete it. The outfit looks a little silly. Ready? Yep. Begin. It makes you feel a lot worse. It's just really scary and hopefully a situation I would never ever find myself in. One. This suit simulates what it's like to be under the influence of drugs, making walking this line incredibly difficult. Oh. It was kind of like my worst nightmare, um, something I would never want to experience. Um, and the physical sensations as well, like my limbs were so heavy. Part of a campaign involving Ottawa police to discuss the dangers of getting behind the wheel after using. We keep hearing the most absurd things that cannabis makes me a better driver uh, and cannabis isn't as dangerous as alcohol. And whether it be alcohol or any other drug, it affects your ability to drive properly. Place your left foot on the line. So I took the challenge. Place your right foot in front of your left foot with your right heel touching your left toe. First testing my skills without the equipment. Eight. No problems in round one. See it? Then weights were added to my arms and legs. I was given headphones with a loud sound coming out and goggles with flashing lights that blurred my vision. I can't hear anymore. A lot less under control. Uh, there's certain clues that we look for when we're putting you through the test. Miss heel to toe steps, arms raised for balance, stepping off the line, stopping during the test. And on that second one, we saw a lot of those traits. Officers say this is an important time for this campaign with so much discussion around the legalization of marijuana. We realize that we've got some pretty massive challenges ahead to not only enforcement, but public education, changing social norms. What? Right now, there's no physical test to determine if someone is under the influence of drugs. Officers say they look for signs, and if they suspect someone, they can demand a full investigation by a drug expert. If you'd been demonstrating those traits on the roadside, right now you'd be wearing handcuffs heading to the station. Megan Shaw, CTV News.